The Skinner Auto Group in Richfield Springs and Turnbull Insurance Service since 1866 present Mohawk Valley Living, exploring the arts, culture, and heritage of our region. A special good morning to our newest Facebook friends, Ruth, Lynn, Joy, and Lorraine. Good morning and welcome to Mohawk Valley Living. We are here in Oneonta again today. And Oneonta, I didn't know until we came down here, is known for its railroad history. Here in Neowa Park, I'm standing in front of a, uh, it's a museum piece actually. It's an old uh, caboose that goes back God knows how many years to the 1800s. I can remember cabooses in Cornhill because we go down to the corner of James and South Street, I think it was. The train would go by and we'd wait for the caboose for the guys to come out and wave to us. The little red caboose is here to uh, commemorate those people, the Brotherhood of Railroad Brakemen, who came together in 1883 to improve the working conditions of those men who worked on the railroad. So, all aboard as we roll into Oneonta. Freight train runs through this town at 530. Railroad bones, hobos, freeloaders, tattered and dirty. Free life is all they will ever need. But for me, today from 8:30 to 1, it's sugaring off Sundays at the Farmers Museum. Enjoy a pancake breakfast and traditional maple sugaring activities. The carousel will be open too. Visit the Farmers Museum in Cooperstown today for sugaring off Sundays. Watch Mohawk Valley Living every Sunday at 7.30 a.m. and 11.35 p.m. on WKTV. And check out what's new on MohawkBellyLiving.com. And the sadness in my heart will always grow. It's time for the Skinner Auto Group road trip, and we're heading down into Leatherstocking Country. On our way, we stop by our sponsor, Skinner Auto in Richfield Springs. Dan LaBarge takes Richard on a tour of some of their late winter clearance vehicles that are priced to move. This week, we're back in Oneonta. We have visited this city at least a half dozen times over the years and still have just brushed the surface of what it has to offer. Historically, it was settled around 1775 by the Palatine Germans and Dutch. It flourished into a city in the early 1900s with the arrival of the railroad. This beautiful library and the surrounding park were donated to Oneonta by Henry Huntington. Now our country owes all sorts of things to the railroad barons of years gone by. He was one of the leading railroad barons of the country and to give back to society, he donated this building in memory of his mother and father. Kitty corner to the library is the historic Oneonta Theater. When you step into the lobby, you step back to a golden era. When it opened in February 1898, the Oneonta Star reported that a modern theater was at last a reality. To look at the marquee here, it's very deceiving. You might think that there's a tiny theater inside there. There isn't. You walk inside and it was at one time an 1100 seat theater. And it really took me back. This will, I suppose, conjure up memories for some older viewers. Uh, back in the days when downtown Utica had three theaters, movie theaters, remember they were the Avon, the Utica, and the one that was like this in its heyday it was an absolute palace like this one is, and that was the Olympic. What a theater. The Oneonta Theater is host to many exciting events this month. Owner Tom Cormier tells us he's got the hottest new Irish acoustic band on the planet, Lunasa, for a special early St. Patrick's Day performance on Friday, March 16th. Also performing this month is Jefferson Starship with original members of Jefferson Airplane on March 22nd. Check out all the shows happening at the Oneonta Theater at oneontatheater.com.
The city of Oneonta has its own newspaper, daily newspaper. It's called the Daily Star, and it has been publishing continuously since 1890. Can you imagine that? That's 122 years. Wow. And if you want to talk continuous, go back to 2006, because during the great flood of that year, this newspaper published and delivered right through the days of the flood. Be sure to pick up a copy of The Daily Star and also check out their other publications. We'll have more from Oneonta after the break. Skinner Auto in Richfield Springs is your Ford store and your local dealer for Chrysler, Jeep, and Dodge. You'll find a dedicated sales team ready to serve you and help you find the right vehicle to fit your style and budget. Skinner Auto in Richfield Springs. Now you're thinking smart. In 1866, James B. Turnbull walked to farms and villages to visit his customers, earning their trust. Today, the fourth generation of Turnbulls continue that dedication, tailoring a life insurance plan to suit your unique needs and priorities. Turn to the company that is out there to earn your trust. Turn to Turnbull. Ally Lynn's Home and Accessories for Distinctive Gifts. For the Whimsical. For the Bride. For American Made. Ally Lynn's Home and Accessories, West Park Row in Clinton. Why do contractors and do-it-yourselfers shop Lincoln Davies? It's the superior grade lumber, the value for the money, the 140 years and six generations of customer service. Since 1872, Lincoln Davies has delivered superior lumber, value, and service, and they're not about to change things now. Celebrating 140 years at the same location, just 10 minutes south of New Hartford on Summit Road between Routes 12 and 8. Lincoln Davies, building them like they used to. Visit Chester's Flowers in Utica for a healthy dose of springtime. Fresh, fragrant flowers are always featured, and the greenhouses are filled with seasonal flowering and lasting tropical plants. Show your love with a floral gift from Chester's. Call Yannick Excavating for all your residential and commercial projects, from new construction and land clearing to septic systems, driveways, basements, ponds, and topsoil. Visit YannickExcavating.com. You'll find treasure around every corner at Cobbler & Company. Twelve rooms filled with eclectic gifts for your friends and family, home and garden. Cobbler & Company in historic downtown Sharon Springs. Tucked away off of the main street, like many of the small manufacturers we visit, is Equessential's fine equestrian apparel. They need the space to work and grow, more than a storefront. Their custom-made equestrian clothing is for a world market. Their storefront is their website. Um, we started off manufacturing just three different styles of breeches for horse riding, and over the years we've had customers that have requested certain changes or additions or a completely different style even. So as we can accommodate that, we do. And, and since then, we have developed two other styles that have become quite popular. And we've made modifications to the existing styles as well. Most riders prefer some sort of leather on their pants, depending on the discipline that they're riding, uh, be it a hunter jumper, all the way to someone doing trail riding, reining, endurance riding, any of those disciplines. So depending on their personal preference and the discipline, sort of a combination of both, they'll have anything from just a small knee patch to leather that goes the full length of the pant, from the buttocks all the way to the ankle. It allows stick to the saddle, depending on the type of saddle that they're using, um, or movement if there's less, le less leather. Riding pants tend to be very fitted, and no one really fully fits into an off-the-rack pant. And if they don't fit properly, you're going to slide in your saddle. The, the leather isn't going to work properly. You're, you'll chafe at the knee. That's a big problem that a lot of people have with off-the-rack is the knee doesn't fit properly and they have chafing. And it just they're just a nicer fit. They're more comfortable. And when you're more comfortable, you're riding better. Uh, right now, there's myself and four other full-time employees. And then I have another part-time sales rep 
that does the weekend shows and expos and like that. Um, we're heading into Mexico and we're also getting a little bit more well known in Europe and South Africa. It's a family business. I like that I have the freedom to come and go. Um, I'm here a lot. I'm here more than you would think. Um, I love the people that work here. We are a small family. Um, we're hoping to grow. We, you know, we do grow a little bit every year and uh, hope to add to our family someday. Everything here, the leather and the denim, is American made. And what I found to be very interesting is this, that when it comes to the most American of them all, denim, they had a very hard time finding some in the United States, but finally did. It's always interesting to find these places that are shipping all over the world, all over the world, and they're right here in our backyard. To learn more about Equessentials or to order your own custom equestrian apparel, visit www.equessentials.net. Something in you just can't explain. Bring the sun that shines down. Bright colors stay the same. All the stones we carry. Every time we travel to Oneonta, we pass this old mill on Chestnut Street. It's called Marketplace Antiques, but in the 1930s, it was filled with over 100 dressmakers, shipping out nearly 1,000 dresses every day. Today, it is one of Central New York's largest antique stores with over 100 dealers. This factory was built in 1910, and at that time, it was known as the Raymond Overall Company. When I was a kid, overalls were standard issue. We all wore them. In the 1930s, they turned to dressmaking. You can see an actual sample of a dress that was made here. And then uh, during World War II, to help the war effort, uh, they began to do split mica uh, to be used with electronic capacitors. In the mid-1980s, Bob and Rusty Terrell bought this place. It's now called the Marketplace. And you come in here and there are three floors containing tens of thousands of antiques. And that's no exaggeration. It stands among the maples that were planted once with pride. And looks out on the rolling hills stretch out far and wide. The walls are strong and sturdy through the years it's held up well. Oh, if that old house could talk. Further along Chestnut Street, we see a little restaurant with a big claim, a sign that says number one hero. We love Greek food, so we put them to the test and are greeted warmly by the Gatanas family, who moved from New York City to share their love of Greek cooking. We are in business from way back, too many years. We had several restaurants down the city, and then we move up here and we decide to open a Greek restaurant. What makes good Greek food? What makes something good? What's, what's the secret? To, good to do it with love, to have patience, and to love what you do. That's the best. That's the best. Yes. I ate here and the food was boli mostimo. Is that close? Yeah. Which means very, very good in Greek. Trust me, it is. I had my favorite, which is souvlaki. Who would think they'd have that here in Oneonta? And Lance and Sherry had something that was also out of this world. What was it called? Gyros. Gyros. And uh, how would you Boli mostov. Boli Yes. Oy vey, but that's not Greek. Boli mostov. She's so much prettier and says it so much better. <laughs> Go Greek at the Phoenix Grill. Customers also tell us you can't beat their all-day breakfast. They're open Tuesday through Friday, 10 to 8, and Saturday, 7 to 3, at 381 Chestnut Street. We'll have more from Oneonta after the break.
The automobile has gone through many changes through the years, but the Turnbull family's commitment to local drivers has not. Researching and selecting the best coverage for you with unparalleled service, claims handling, and settlement. Turn to a local company with four generations of knowledge and experience. Turn to Turnbull. Hi, Dr. Tom. Bringing your cat to the Paris Hill Cat Hospitals on Sundays is a part of Mohawk Valley Living. Come inside and see why. Paris Hill Cat Hospital, this is Lindsay. How can I help you? Your cat is losing weight and you need an appointment, and you're only available on the weekend. Sure, I have an appointment Sunday with Dr. Karen. Does that fit into your schedule? Okay, we'll see you then. Thank you. We're open seven days a week because we know that your cat can become ill anytime. The Paris Hill Cat Hospital, quality care for your cats and kittens. Call Maria's Pasta Shop to reserve your party trays for Palm Sunday and Easter. You and your guests will enjoy homemade lasagna, ravioli, manigot, or stuffed shells. Call 797-6835. Milan's Meat Market has your Easter specialties, like store-made hams and kielbasa, leg of lamb and roasts, featuring low-salt, low-fat smoked ham and kielbasa. Try their famous crown roast of pork or prime rib. Milan's Meat Market, your one-stop shop at the Four Corners in Clark Mills. Where can you find fair trade, local, and organic gifts, like Dean's Beans Coffee, fresh bulk almonds and cashews, and hand-dipped candles and local pottery? Tom's Natural Foods in Clinton, naturally. The dessert booth is now open for dinner on Friday nights. Enjoy vegetarian seafood or the popular tapas. Something for every taste and budget at the dessert booth in Clinton. Visit the Little Falls Antique Center and the Shops at 25 West for an ever-changing selection of antiques and collectibles from over a dozen antique dealers. Upstairs at the shops, find over 30 more vendors like Gaia's Garden for altered clothing and paper products by some extremely creative women. And we wear vintage, vintage clothing and accessories for those who like to dress up. There's also Jake's Bakes, handmade wheat-free treats for your dog. Visit the Little Falls Antique Center and the Shops at 25 West on your next visit to beautiful Canal Place in Little Falls. Spring color is peeking through at the Village Crossing. It's a great time for sales on winter clearance items, making way for new spring fashions arriving daily at the Village Crossing in Clinton. Traveling round the Mohawk Valley, we're going on a road trip. Today at 3.30, the Colgate Chamber players will perform Glimpse of Spring, including excerpts from Schubert and Mozart. The concert is free and open to the public today at 3.30 at Colgate Memorial Chapel at Colgate University in Hamilton. When you're in Oneonta, be sure to visit Neowa Park with walking trails, a pond, and nearly a dozen ball fields, including historic Damaski Field. Uh, this started as a ballpark in 1905. A gentleman by the name of uh, Frank Monroe uh, was looking for a better place to play because they played at a ballpark about three miles from here. So back in the 1800s and early 1900s, they had to hop on their horse or a bicycle to go way out into the suburbs over near Fox Hospital today to play ball. So they wanted something closer. So Mr. Monroe was going through this part of the village, probably to his favorite uh, swimming hole on the Susquehanna. And he said, hey, this looks pretty good maybe we could make this into the ballpark. So what he did was approach uh, the man who owned this property, uh, Lewis Rutherford Morris of Morris, New York, and he said, okay, you can play ball here. And uh, they started playing in 1905. They started making improvements in 1906. And it's been a multi-purpose park over the years. They played ball, they played football here, and at, when soccer was really huge here in the 60s and 70s, they had tournaments in this uh, stadium. So there's a lot of history in this park. Damaski Field is named because of a gentleman by the name of Ernest C. Dutch Damaski. He was an athlete way back when. He was a coach uh, of baseball, and he actually played baseball at this field in the early 1900s. He went on to uh, coach the sport and other sports as well. He coached basketball and football, all kinds of things. But then after World War II, he and his colleague, Louis Lascaris, were involved with the city recreation department and got all kinds of these great programs going in swimming and tennis and uh, recreation. And he was at it for years and years. I remember him when, he was, when I was growing up here. 
and they named the field Damaski Field in 1968 in commemoration of Dutch Damaski. We head to South Oneonta and hop over Interstate 88 to Interskate 88, a classic roller skating rink with a beautiful, spacious hardwood maple skating floor. With an arcade, snack bar, indoor playground, disco ball, and music, it's fun entertainment for the whole family. Uh, we've been open since 1981. My dad built it. Uh, he was in construction before this, so he felt this would be a good retirement for him. So. It's been in the family since 1981, so I've been here full time since like 1995. So uh, we range anywhere from you know three on up to 83. Honestly, I mean we we have all ages. During the day, it's mostly smaller kids, so you know five to 14 or so. But as you can see today, there's a lot of families here, so. Uh, we do a lot of birthday parties, a lot of private parties. The colleges rent the place out quite often. Uh, we recently have a roller derby going on here. We have our own roller derby team. That's uh, really helped business a lot. So, you know, it's good exercise, really, and it's a family-oriented activity. You know, it's families can come, and it's cheap entertainment too. So, there's no snow. Nobody's doing anything outside. So. We've been really busy, actually, so it's just great for us. So. <laughs> there was music in the valley. There was music in the air. There was music all around me. Since we're south of the city, we decide to visit the Franklin Mountain Hawk Watch. We travel from Route 23 up Swart Hollow Road. The road is a zigzagging switchback that we wouldn't take on an icy day. There is another route, but the roads are relatively dry and we're on an adventure. The Delaware Otsego Audubon Society Sanctuary overlooks Oneonta and is the site of the Franklin Mountain Hawk Watch, one of New York's premier hawk watches in the autumn, primarily for red-tailed hawks and golden eagles. So today, Sherry and Lance dragged me up this hill I mean, it's like how many thousands of feet into the air? A lot, way, way up into the air. But let me tell you something. If you head down to this part of the country, come here, because the view is something that I've never seen before of the Susquehanna River Valley. It is absolutely stunning. Then if you come here to the picnic area, and there is a picnic table, uh, if you're lucky, you might be able to spot a bald eagle. So get up here for a picnic, for a hike, or whatever. It is absolutely stunning breathtaking. The Delaware Otsego Audubon Society has events throughout March. For event information and directions to Franklin Mountain, visit MohawkValleyLiving.com. Here's what's hot on the lot at Skinner Auto. Check out this hard to find 15 passenger wagon. It's great when you need to transport a lot of people. Only 24,000 miles, now only 25,650. One of the many pre-owned vehicles priced to move at Skinner Auto. Shop shelter for handmade Adirondack furniture designed by craftsman Jim Kiefer. He works with you to create custom pieces to your specifications, from dining room and coffee tables to bookcases, beds, and bunks. Call or visit shelter on Main Street in Old Forge. The Longaretta Law Firm, protecting your rights and advising you in matters of legal importance. Call for your free consultation, 735-6162. The Arkell Museum at Canajahari brings great art and music to the Mohawk Valley. On March 25th, enjoy a concert with Gail Ross and Jerry Exline, and the bluegrass folk and western swing of Amy Gallatin and Stillwaters on March 31st. Call the Arkell Museum for tickets. Visit Trenton Teas for a delicious variety of fine teas or arrange your own tea in the tea room. If you haven't been to a high tea, you're in luck. Trenton Teas is presenting a St. Patrick's high tea on March 17th. Call 797-2181 for reservations. 
Expecting company? Just call Deansboro Superette. They prepare delicious Middle Eastern platters for any number of guests. Call 841-4377. Savor the flavor of authentic Southeast Asian cuisine at the Lotus Garden Noodle and Sushi House. The Pooh family welcomes you to lunch or dinner at the Lotus Garden, 339 Bleecker Street in downtown Utica. If you're in a collision, you need Precision. Call your insurance company first and then choose Precision Unlimited. Providing expert auto body collision repair since 1987 on Route 5 in Clinton. You'll find something for everyone at the Little Falls Antique Center and the shops at 25 West. 50 local vendors offer a wide range of items, like local novels at Gansevoort Books, your source for regional books and special orders. Find affordable, one-of-a-kind handmade furniture and a variety of pellet, wood, coal, and gas stoves at Granny's Country Crafts, Arcadian Stoves and Gifts. From local books to decorative arts, home furnishings to food and kitchen items, and antiques galore. Keep your money local and your selection wide open at the Little Falls Antique Center and the shops at 25 West. West. Visit MohawkValleyLiving.com for links to places featured on the show, plus original content like this week's article by John Keller, an interview with musician and artist Tom Yacavella. We hope that you enjoyed today's show. Coming back to Oneonta is always a pleasure. There's always something new to cover here. Uh, we're at the top of Franklin Mountain, uh, and I'll tell you something, the view here, if you should come, make it a point to come up here. And next week, I'm told we're going somewhere, somewhere up there, I believe that's north. Uh, we're going to Holland Patent, so be sure to join in. And between now and then, enjoy Mohawk Valley living. Young.